evident uh, that democracy means uh, different things to different people. It's, an, it's a statement criticizing the latest acts of this government, especially in relation to uh, freedom of expression and even, more important, freedom of association. Uh, the language, for instance, which Buhari used in his interview uh, uh, recently and even in his statements from Asorok, when he, uh, in relation to those who are clamoring for this or clamoring for that, uh, especially the quote-unquote so-called secession uh, uh, advocates and so on. Um, there is a, a statement like uh, we're seceding or we're no longer part of this is an act of criticism, is a critical uh, a, a statement, critical statement of the situation as is. And any sensitive leadership must learn to understand this and respond to the reasons behind those agitations. Not say that, not start threatening and bullying and trying to intimidate a people, you know, uh, because they are giving vent to very deep-seated grievances. Again, the youth made the same statement, that encouraged me. So, that inform. It's just like a dot in Asaku. If they want to exist, they would have no access to anywhere. And the way they are spread all over the country, having businesses, having property, I think Ipop doesn't know what they are talking about. In any case, we say we we'll talk to them in the language they understand. We will organize the police and the military to pursue them. That's what we can do, and we will do it. Well, I, am I not leading the country according to the Constitution? What do they want? So whoever wanted diversion or destruction of the system at this point, I think we will soon have the shock of their lives. I think we have given them enough latitude. They have made their case. They just wanted to destroy the country. Simple. Because what do they want? And we are concentrating on infrastructure. Because no country or institution can be developed without infrastructure. Now, for those of us who are unfortunate to be in the field for the 30 months of the civil war, to see the carnage of how we kill ourselves, at least a million people. I think those that are misbehaving, they are either too young, they didn't know what happened. But for those of us who went through all these things, uh, we, we can't understand. So we will treat them in the language they understand. So I. I feel for your understanding and so on. We are going to be very hard sooner than later. Do I think that Nigeria can continue as one? Yes. Not if it continues this way. Not if it, not if it fails to decentralize. Some people use the word reconstruction, some people use the word uh, uh, whatever. But if Nigeria fails to decentralize, and I mean to decentralize as fast as possible, manifestly, not as rhetoric, then Nigeria cannot stay together. Again, it's not Wale Shoenka saying this. Everybody said it. Generals have sex, generals, ex head of states have said it, politicians have said it, analysts have said it, economists have said it. And sometimes we get that. And that's what's happening to people in the streets. That's where they're moving. That's why they're demonstrating. That's why they're defying even threats from the police, from the government. If you demonstrate, you're threat to us. If you do this, we'll deal with you. We'll talk to you in language which you understand. It doesn't wash with anybody any longer. Because if the nation is on a suicide slide, the people, people who feel that they do not deserve that kind of suicidal plunge, uh, they have a right to say, sorry, I'm getting off this plane before it nose dives.